Is there anybody out there? I'm not Indiana Jones, and I don't like living dangerously. Tell them, John. I tell them who we are. Mike, you can't defend yourself against those two. I believe you're looking for us. Go for help. Waited five weeks and I'm not playing any games. Katie, come on, hand it over. Yes, you. Come on. Look. Supposed to be a peaceful breakfast. Coming. Katie, come on. Oh, Katie, get back to me now. Looks like we're having a dull morning. Just for change. Quiet. Don't Kids, they won't be happy until someone gets hurt. Hey, hey. Dad. Hey. Come on. All right, it's about time. Look, how come she didn't have to go to school today? It's correction day. She's going to help me mark papers. Funny, it doesn't look like an umbrella. Yeah, well, who needs one? Look, this is merely a drizzle on a major league day. Hot and wet are not mutually exclusive in Australia. Yeah, well, I predict clear skies and sunshine by 10 o'clock. I predict serious disappointment by 10.30. Temperature is 41 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Fahrenheit, with the rains continuing into their third oh. day. The Weather Bureau advises of gale force conditions along the coast. A tropical marine air mass is forming over the Coral Sea, and we can expect winds with heavy precipitation throughout the day. There's been major damage to resorts on islands off the coast of Queensland. Meanwhile, at Surface Paradise, hundreds of tourists have been stranded in their hotels because both Brisbane and Coolangatta airports have been closed by the heavy rain. Beethoven echoes this theme from the second movement. Let the interplay between theme and counter theme. Excuse me, Mr. Smithers. Sir. David Larson. No. You will address me as sir. We're supposed to play. Sir. Sir, we we're supposed to play baseball today. You know, that wasn't too hard, was it, Mr. Larson? The baseball, Mr. Smithers, sir? Rained out, Mr. Larson. Tim, what is that implement on your lap? My Louisville slugger. Well, might I suggest we're not actually in Louisville? We keep it in your locker. Yes, sir. advice for the tropical storm may be hitting the coastline sooner than expected. Classes will therefore be dismissed in our...
gonna be bad. How bad? Cyclone. I don't call it a big wet for nothing. Hey, team. How bad is this gonna get? After I finish this, I'll get a top and put it on the gear just in case the roof goes off. How bad? Yeah, check the generator and trends. We only got enough fuel for a few hours. Where's the slugger? Oh shoot! Three minutes ago. Oh, you and your dumb back. Come on. Hello. Hello. We bought that new generator. Too bad we didn't buy any fuel. I hope Rodney gets back with the shopping. Ditch, do you remember that shortwave radio? Nope. Yes, you do. I bought it last Christmas. When? Ditch, the phone is down. It is imperative that I talk to my agent in New York before the stock market opens. I could lose millions. In that case, I think maybe it's down the wine cellar. What's it doing there? I think maybe I swapped it. For what? Two Bordeaux, Chardonnay and a cognac. This is Baron Trent in Queensland, Australia. Is there anybody out there? River a bit. We lost all our gear. I was wondering if you'd give us a ride to the highway. Sorry, mate. The road's under four feet of water in Vatican Ford. But the stack and the only decent four-wheel drive shopping. Butler. You live here or what? Yeah. Those fish are they dangerous. They'll rip your bloody arms off, mate. <laughs> Look, you better come up the house. The name's Ditch. Thanks, mate. Jono's my name. Jono right, Smith. Come on. Hello, Queensland. Who is this? Who am I speaking to? This is Larry Lander, purveyor of fine spirits and wines to drink as a distinction. And where are you, sir? Zimbabwe or maybe Mozambique. Yo, Phyllis, did we cross the border yesterday? Sorry, Baron, I'll have to get back with you on that. All right, this is your picture. Thank you. These yours? I'm oh, sorry, mate. My dinner is down the drive cabinets. Uh, not his uh, the nephew. It's been away a long time. He's forgotten some of the social graces, you might say. I've been eating cons like you for breakfast for 20 years. You know what I do? Answer me! What, Jonah? I chew them up and I spit them out. 
As long as they don't know who we are, I want you to be the cleanest boy scout this side of Fremantle. You got that? Because as long as they don't know, we're in. Appreciate your hospitality. It's our pleasure. Black Opal. I haven't seen a rock like that in years. Look at that red, huh? It's like fire, isn't it? You're in mining, Mr. Smith. No food. I'm in the uh, restaurant business. Hey! Hey! What's the secret? Secret? There's no secret. She can't speak. She uses a slate to communicate. Oh, yeah? Why? What's wrong with that? Power's been out all morning, huh? Most of it. Shame. No news. About the storm, I mean. Well, Ditch figures it'll last till evening. Had a word with a giant rain wallaby, did ya? Nah, the Bureau of Meteorology. Idea. Oh, yeah, you weren't exactly begging to spend the night at St. Crispin's. Look, all I said it was five or six k's home. Yeah, as, as the, the crow, crow flies. Jeez. Oh, my God, Kevin, look. It's an invasion of the humanoid spiders. Oh, it's only a huntsman, you wuss. God, it's a tarantula on steroids. <laughs> wait till you see the cane toads. Yeah, Kevin, I can't wait. Uh, you don't have to. Jeez, Kevin, don't you guys have any normal animals in Australia? No, no, we don't. <laughs> Look, Kevin, I'm the type of guy, hangs out at the mall, you know, plays baseball, watches a little video, eats the occasional pizza. I'm not Indiana Jones, and I don't like living dangerously. Well, come on, let's go. I hate this place. <laughs> Daddy Shlomo resuming transmission. Big Daddy Shlomo? Repeat, this is Big Daddy Shlomo looking for action. Anybody got a war out there? Ah, uh, this is Baron Trent in Australia. Uh, where are you, Big Daddy? My position is 32.05 degrees north, 35.64 degrees east. That's not New York by any chance, is it? Israel. You're not very good at this, are you? Uh, yeah, well, you say I don't have the benefit of your long years of experience. What do you have for me, Baron? War, civil unrest, political turmoil? No, well, we've got a pretty bad storm passing through. Is that a code, Baron? Are you being interfered with? Would you put me on to your parents, Big Daddy? Negative, Baron. My mother's on patrol duty this weekend. Uh, Big Daddy, this is urgent. I repeat, urgent. I need to speak to Alma Freeman at the New York Stock Exchange. You've got the wrong continent, Baron, baby. Uh, where exactly do you live? West Bank, Shah Shalom, Gateway to Peace. You want to contact Captain Cardiac in Liverpool? Captain Cardiac? He could put you in touch with the electric folks in Chicago, who may be able to get through to Willie the Rat in. No, no, look, New York. I need to speak to New York. I've got an uncle owns a deli in Queens. Well, uh, yeah, listen, uh, now, uh, you do me a favor. Use your telephone and phone your uncle. Negative, Baron. My mother would kill me. No, no, this is an emergency. I'm sure your mum wouldn't mind. What do the world she sleeps with an Uzi mean to you? Fifty dollars. Phone your uncle. I'll give you fifty dollars. U.S.? Listen, I want to find the deli. I don't want to buy it. You want your information or you want chopped liver? Is that the yes? Uh, yes. I'm gone. Uh, Big Daddy? Uh, hello? Hello? 
Between you and the Yank. I teach his daughter. Nothing romantic. Would you get me a lettuce, please? There you go, love. That's a cabbage. Looks like it's gonna smash the roof in, doesn't it? You're not in the restaurant business. What are you talking about? You don't know a lettuce from a cabbage. Who are you? I think you better get a move on, love. This is not your house, and I'd rather you left me alone, Mr. Smith. Or whatever your name is. Yeah, well, I'll be gone as soon as the storm is. See where he is. Oh, mate, is it getting bad out there? Thanks. You're gonna eat with us? Well, you got a problem with that? Just reckon maybe you ought to be eating out back. Reckon I eat where I please. Lay off, mate, now. Just don't like eating with sooty, that's all. Got me pride. <laughs> Tell him, John O. Tell him who we are. Tell him how we break out of the joint. Give me that. Go and get me some rope. Monsoon in 20 years. You really think anybody's going to be interested in a couple of uninvited house guests? What do you want? I want the same as you. I want a place to keep dry. And I want to organize a little cash donation. Let's call it the Save the Larsons Fund. You trying to play with me? Because if you are. You're dead. Believe me. What? Uncle Abby is going to charge me a hundred dollars, so I've got to pass my cost on to you. Excuse me, I thought I was talking to Big Daddy Slomo, not Lee Iacocca. What can I tell you, Baron? I got an arsenal to take care of. Fine. All right. Did your uncle get onto the stock exchange? No. Nope. Why not? Uncle Avi's in the middle of tomorrow's bagels. Estimated completion is 0400 Eastern Standard Time. He'll call back. That is hours away. Listen, kid, you're ruining my digestion. Maybe you'll need a good bill. That is not in my repertoire of disgusting noises. There's somebody else in this house. 
Are you just antsy? No, I can feel it. We'll go and take another look then. Someone else in this house, isn't there? Probably old Grudge, man. Who? Spirit. Comes and goes when the weather goes funny. Did you know this place was built on a dreaming? Shut your face! Munulu <laughs> Bele!
all right? Yeah, he's fine. He went home. Mr. Larson and his happy family. What a pretty picture. They're gonna go dry off. David. But do you mind? What am I gonna do? Swim to the nearest cop station? What are you gonna do with us, John? Why do you want to know? Because I don't appreciate my family being held hostage. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll have a word with the weatherman. It's the storm. Relax. It's always you people who figure everyone else needs to relax. You know what I need, Larson? Money. End of story. Killed a man, Baron? No, but I'm willing to learn. Maybe you ought to consider joining the army. I think it's a bit late for that. Come on, what are you? 21, 22? <laughs> well, give or take. My father was in the army. Killed 23 men and a goat. Okay, I'll bite. What goat? Top secret, Baron. I'll let you know when it gets declassified. Dear God, please let it be in our lifetime. How many divisions air power you got there? I wouldn't have a clue. How could you not know? Well, to be honest, we haven't had a war for a long time. Bummer. We manage? My mother says war is like an animal. Too often is bad. Once in a while, it's good for the system. What were you in the slammer for? I shot this young punk. Why? You have a smart mouth. You can shut up. Says this place is haunted, reckons it's built on Abo dreaming ground or something. I reckon he's trying to point the phone at us, John, or sing us to death. Crap, he's just trying to stir us. Go and tell him to shut up. Why me? Why is it always me? You, kid, open your eyes. Why is it always me, huh? Just go. Dumbilan, Dumbilan, Milangan, Dumbilan, Milangan. Dumbilan, Dumbilan, Milangan, Dumbilan. Dumbilan, Dumbilan, Milangan, Dumbilan, Milangan, Dumbilan. It's not real, you hear? Just stop it! What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Huh? Oh, let him rip his throat to shreds. Billin? Oh. Big Daddy, I thought I'd lost you. Just fixing the evening rations. Well, doesn't anybody look after you? My mother always says. Can't wait. My mother always says you leave a chicken alone, it makes eggs. Stick with other chickens, it makes trouble. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. I gotta go. I'll reopen my station when Uncle Abby comes. Uh, uh, where are you going, Big Daddy? Keep an eye on my mother. 
Sometimes she doesn't pay attention. I think I'll maybe talk her tonight. All right, MacArthur. Go play war. I don't understand you. You want to be a soldier? Be a soldier. I didn't ask for this, Baron. What do you expect me to be? A kid, damn it! Why don't you go outside and have a game of tag? Go on. I'll give you an extra 20 bucks. Really? Yeah, go on. Go. Shalom, Baron. That means peace, you know. Yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Hey, Big Daddy, you get your butt back here in 30 minutes. Is that clear? Generator's gonna go in about 30 minutes. I gotta get Digit tied before then. Play along. Can't ask a child to sit around for hours on end with nothing to do. Let me get a report. Yeah, that's very funny. Stop me. You never asked what I was in for, Larson. St. Patrick's Day, 1978. Me and a mate paid a little visit to Sammy Walker Opals in Brisbane. We laid old Sammy down on the floor with his son. Well, we cleaned out his latest shipment. The only problem was, uh, old Sammy looked up. So I put a bullet through his right eye and went through Sammy Jr. just to make sure. You really want to mess with me, Larson? Want a book? Go and get it. Straight to the study, straight back. in the wine cellar. You gotta let him know we got trouble. Do you think you can untie these ropes? Hey, that noise has stopped. What's the kid doing? She'll be back in a minute. Like you say, he's probably got to... Go through. Go check on it. Quick, out. Why are you doing that? Trent to Big Daddy. Come in. Come on, get your butt back here. Who is this? Uh, what do you mean, who is this? This is, uh, well, where's Big, um, where, where's Shlomo? Who are you? I'm a friend. Who's that? Unit Commander J.B. Mosler. There was a shelling from over the border. Shlomo was in the field, playing tag by himself. <sighs> Uh, is he alive? Will you answer me? Your gardener's got a head full of snakes.
Come on, get a book. Well, well. Looky here at all this treasure. from anyone, especially thick-headed criminals with bad breath and worse manners. I can't believe this, Johnny. She's just standing there, then sap, she's disappearing for things. So help me, buddy, if you laid a hand on her. On my granny's grave, mate, she just evaporated. Maybe it was that kadocha thing Yebo was talking about. You've been sniffing barbecue fluid again, Noddy. Come and look for yourself, I'll show you. She was standing right over there. I just think I came down the last shot. I believe you're looking for us. Johnny McClinch. It's been a long time. Queensland, you have to pick this one. So how long's it been? 25 years. Hope will bear mine. One day we're mates, the next you disappeared. What happened? I think that's pretty clear. I got fired, you ended up owning the mine. And now you're stealing my money? I'd have given it to you if you'd asked me, Jono. What happened to you? Well, I found a couple of chunks of rock in my lunchbox and gave it the sack. No reference, no pay. You could have got other work. Yeah, well, you did all right for yourself, didn't you? And you could have done the same. How, Trent? You tell me that, how? I had no family, no education, no one cared whether I lived or died. You decided not to care, too. Yeah, well, I was chipping rock back then. I'm chipping it still. A person goes as far as he wants to, Jono. Don't take your lack of ambition out on me. Larson thinks your mother delivered you in a Rolls Royce, doesn't he? <laughs> Americans aren't as concerned with a man's past as they are with his future. If he asked, I'd tell him. Hey, Larson, get in here. What do you know about your boss? He's a good man interested in dolphin research. So not from me. You know, he was born to a drunk of a mother who didn't know his father from half the men in Cuba, Petey. I can remember when he could barely read the label of a beer bottle, let alone a bloody balance sheet. That's enough, Jono. If all that's true, I haven't given you enough credit. Thank you. Hey, Dad! Get in here! Must be easy buying friends. Listen. I don't hear anything. There's nothing. The storm, it's over. Where will you go? Where do you think most escaped cons go? 
I've no idea. No? You find some decent food, you find a decent woman, then they catch you. That's it. War is hell, Jono. Whether it's outside your front door or inside your head. Give yourself up. I'll get you a solicitor. The best in the state. Get the bags and let's get going. bones and goanna legs to cast spells. No, mate, that's for soup. See, what we use for spell, though, is white fellas' legs. Ah, ah, there we go. Uh, peace and quiet again. Don't you find it interesting that despite the similarities between ourselves and other species, none of them have yet discovered the concepts of war? Maybe they know something we don't. I suppose you think you've had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trip. You know that radio down the cellar? There's some wise guy kid calling for you, and get this. He says his name is Big Daddy Shlomo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Daddy Shlomo back in action. Are you there, Baron? Next on Dolphin Cove. My in-laws want to take Katie and David back to the States. He and Katie are as much Betsy's as yours. Leave my family alone. The time has come for Katie to see a professional. She is. If ever you feel sad or lonely, I'll be here. I'm going home, Dad. Later tonight on West 57th, Oscar nominee Jodie Foster talks about her career and herself. Jodie Foster, intimate, revealing, for real, tonight on West 57. But first, they're both in high school. She's pregnant, he's the father. Chuck and Jamie have to make the choice of a lifetime. Next, on TV 101.